Hi guys, what's up? Uh, once again, Lorenzo and Alberto with you, mobile experience, and this time we're here with you to do the final comparison between the brand new S5 Neo and the version of the Samsung Galaxy, which is based on the, of course, the S5. Uh, so we're going to take a look uh, at the difference between these two phones in order to analyze this new version of the S5 in order to understand uh, which are the differences and uh, which one is better, of course, so which one is suitable for you. So we we'll begin talking about the specs. We've got 14.2 centimeters, 7.2 centimeters, 8.1 millimeters. So the dimensions are very, very similar. The Neo is uh, 142 grams, the S5 is 145 grams. Both phones have a, a 5.1 uh, inches full HD screen, a Super AMOLED with 432 PPI. So now we're going to take a look at the, the specs of both phones. So the S5 runs with a CPU of the Snapdragon 801 quad-core 2.5 GHz. The S5 Neo runs with the CPU Exynos 1.6 GHz octa-core. The GPU is the Adreno 330 for the S5 and the Mali T720 for the S5 Neo. And the S5 runs with a, has a, a 2 GB RAM uh, and the S5 Neo 2. Um, the ROM 16 gigabyte expandable for both phones, 16 megapixel for both phones. The front camera is 2 megapixel for the S5 and 5 megapixel for the S5 Neo. The battery 2800 milliampere for both phones, uh, and both have the LT, the S5 Neo has the LT Plus, so a little bit more powerful. And both phones are water resistant, uh, EP67 certified. So um, both phones have uh, the um, the backlight, the notification LED, of course, and the backlighting on the front bottom. Um, with, now we're going to talk about the fingerprint sensor. In the S5, there was you, you may know it and remember it. The S, the fingerprint sensor. Uh, you don't have it in the S5 Neo. They, they decided to take it away. In our opinion, it's not a, a big deal. Um, it's a way of, of course, to unlock your phone, but. Uh, um, not, not a big lead in our opinion. Now we're going to talk about the design, the edge, as Lorenzo is showing you right now. The S5 Neo has um, the edge is more thin, in our opinion, more modern, more cutting. And this cutting effect is similar, the effect that you have when you hold it in your hand is similar to the Note 3 Neo. Um, so, in our opinion, the edge has um, the quality of the edge is a little bit better in the S5 Neo. So an innovation. Now uh, we're to take a look at the back. Um, still talking about the design, of course. So um, in, you, you see the difference in the texture. The main difference, this one, this is the S5 with this uh, holes point um, more far to the other. In the S5 Neo, as Levens is showing you right now, the holes, the, the points are very, very close to the other, creating this, uh, in our opinion, better effect, a very nice. And um, also the touch and feel is a little bit better in the S5 Neo. So it's more ergonomic, it's uh, more beautiful to hold it in your hand. Also in this part, in our opinion, the S5 Neo is a little bit better. Uh, talking about yeah, talking about the sensor, the infrared sensor is present just in S5, not in S5 Neo. So uh, in S5 Neo, you cannot use it uh, um, to change channel, for, for example, on the television. Um, but the S5 Neo has realized a, a very beautiful innovation, in our opinion. The S5 has this slot, as Lorenzo is showing you, which you have to take it away in order to charge the phone, in order to um, let, the, uh, let this uh, phone uh, to be water resistant. In the S5 Neo, they created a, an innovation, they implemented a, a very beautiful technology so that the phone is still water resistant EP67 without the slot. So um, it's, it's very beautiful. The slot was, uh, um, was not a nice thing in our opinion. So this innovation was really, really smart. Um, now we can talk about the Antutu, the score are pretty similar, 38,000 for the S5, 36,000 for the S5 Neo, so very similar also, uh, comparing them using the software Antutu benchmark, which we usually do, and, um, you know, overall we can, we can anticipate you this. Uh, talking about the CPU and the GPU, 
uh, the S5 still remains better because it's more powerful. There's more power for you in the S5. Um, so for example, if you consider a lot the gaming part, the S5 still remains the perfect choice for you between these two because it, it's more powerful, it runs better, heavy application and games. Um, but S5 Neo has a lot of uh, advantages for the design, you have, the, you, you have already seen it. Uh, so, in our opinion, it's a, a, a beautiful version of the phone. The S5 Neo is a beautiful version of the S5. It, it, it was smart to create it because it has different characteristics, different specs, different uh, good parts and bad parts. So you can decide which one um, is better for you. And they are actually a little bit different. Uh, so this is the user interface, uh, pretty similar with this um, new touch with uh, the round toggles as... Uh, you usually see it talking about Samsung, and um, uh, now we're going to take a look at uh, which version of uh, Android is installed on it. These are all, um, you, you can scroll down, it's very similar, they, they, they haven't changed it uh, a lot. So you go to the info and you see that uh, uh, there is the 5.1.1 version of uh, Android in the Neo, and still the 5. Um, ver the, the version of Android is the 5 one in uh, the S5. Um, okay, so now uh, we're going to take a look at uh, the user experience uh, in the home, and uh, we can uh, anticipate that the S5 is not very fluid, uh, scrolling from one page to the other, and um, uh, you, you can actually download uh, a new launcher, it's called Nova Launcher, and use it in the Nova Launcher. Uh, the, yeah, as Lorenzo is showing you right now, the results are, are um, really better, but uh, the S5 is more f remains more fluid. So uh, if you take uh, into consideration uh, the fluidity, if you're very interested that the phone uh, does not have uh, lags uh, and frame rate uh, problems, so uh, wide zones, so for example, on the browser, the, the S5 is more powerful, so it uh, it runs better. And if you are more interested in this part, maybe the S5 still remains uh, between these two, the, the good choice for you. Uh, now we're going to take a look um, at the other parts. Uh, uh, yeah, the user interface still remains very, very, very different. Uh, also, the sensors are, pres are more present in the S5. In our opinion, the infrared and the fingerprint are not maybe more interesting, but they are still a, a good chance for you if you use them sometimes. So another plus for the old S5. Uh, this is the camera, so we're going to compare also, of course, um, these two parts. Um, they open in an instant both, and now we're going to see... Um, the, the, the modes are the design is is um, the, the user interface in the camera is very very similar and uh, we can um, anticipate you that uh, um, talking about the video the neo realized video also in full hd while the s5 realized video in 4k so of course it's definitely better and um, instead of the video taken with the front camera are both in full hd and uh, the front camera actually is better in the S5 Neo because they add this 3 megapixel, uh, 2 megapixel on the S5 and 5 megapixel on the S5 Neo. So if you consider the uh, photos and videos taken with the front camera, they are actually better in the uh, S5 Neo. Now we're going to take a look at some photos taken between these two phones. And this first photo is better actually in S5 Neo because the colors are better, there is more lightning, as you see, and also the, the level, yeah, this is a, a, a mad zoom, <laughs> look how far was the, this part, uh, also this one, but the S5 Neo is, uh, but these, these are comparable actually, the first one was better in the S5, definitely, these, these are comparable, and um, the, 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 they are very reactive, the, the pan, uh, uh, the pinch to zoom the pen, so a, a very good user experience in both phones, talking about the gallery, when you're going to see the photos. The, here is the macro, very comparable. Yeah, good, very good level, level of details. 
and this is a photo taken um, on purpose with uh, a, li a little bit of while moving a little bit with the hand because both phones does not have the image stabilizer so we wanted to see how these two phones behaves and the photos are good still there is no the image stabilizer and as in s6 for example but the photos still remains good uh, they're a little bit blurred but just a little bit the level of details is good and also these two photos are very very comparable so apart from the first one maybe in which uh, the s5 neo uh, was better uh, you've seen that the other photos are very comparable so the camera um, the back camera is is really comparable the front camera maybe is better in the s5 neo so uh, in talking about the camera the s5 neo wins a little bit um, because of the front camera the back is is very very comparable um, now we're going to take a look at the color so uh, the black uh, as of course in the super AMOLED screen samsung is used to it the black is pure is awesome also the white is is very good um the yeah they are very very similar comparable um in the, the colors are um, as always uh, very vivid uh, very very stunning very vivid maybe not a lot natural but of course you can change settings if you want uh, them to look uh, more natural so no problem now we're going to test the display and the power of these two phones so we're going to reproduce the same video now we we're going to try to synchronize them let's see if Lorenzo is able to do that okay this is perfect okay so these are this is the, of course the same video synchronized the angle of view is awesome as uh, we are really used to a uh, very good part in almost every samsung screen the display is very very similar uh maybe uh, as you're seeing the the blue is a little bit darker in the s5 is more deep so a little bit better but it's really really small differences and the design overall the display overall is is very very similar both phones are able to reproduce uh, heavy and testing videos like this one so um, you're you, you're going to be very very satisfied by these aspects in both of these two phones uh, now we're going to talk about the audio part in order to um, analyze the position of the speakers and uh, how these two phones are able to reproduce for example music so now we're going to play a sample song um, yeah so now we're going to play a sample song in order to analyze the quality of the speakers and also the the level of the volume so here it is the first one That was the S5, of course, the position of the speakers is placed on the back, now the S5 new. Yeah, so the, the volume is good, it's, it's, not, it's not very, very high in both phones, but it's good. And the quality of the audio is good too. Um, the, the position of the speakers and luckily is placed uh, as you have, as you're already seen on the back so we usually don't like this position of the speakers because um, the audio does not come uh, the sound does not come good when the phone is placed for example on a table on your bed and um, but these two phones has this position of, because for example the s6 has a fantastic position placed in the lower part of the phone uh, but these two phones have, have as you see the speakers placed on the back the audio part is comparable very we don't know if there's a winner on it now we're going to take a look at the browser part so as we usually do we surf on uh, Corriere della Sera which is a, a very very testing um, Italian website 
that contains a lot of news, a lot of um, stuff, videos, links, uh, photos. Uh, we used, we are going to select the desktop mode. So this site uh, is uh, even more testing than it was before. And um, now we're going to try, as always, to scroll down, uh, to zoom, to pinch, to pan, in order to um, analyze the uh, the browser experience, which of course, of course is very, very important in our opinion. Uh, we're going to see if the pure power of the S5 wins or if the experience are comparable. This is the scrolling down, of course, uh, a few white zones, but it's fully understandable because, as we have said before, this is a pretty testing site. You don't surf always inside like that, of course. Um, this is pretty stressful and testing for a phone. Um, yeah, the, the, the pinch is reactive, also the scroll down, um, few white zones, few loss of frame rates, but in our opinion, the, the browser experience are good and are comparable. In this part, the S5 is, is more powerful, as we've said before, but in the browser, you cannot see it. The, the browser experience is very good also in the S5 Neo. So you're not going to have any kind of problem in it. Now we're going to talk about the band, the battery, and the battery is is very very similar. It's 2,800 milliampere, as we said before, and also the results and the performance of the battery is comparable because uh, we found that uh, if you use it in a medium way, you can arrive uh, without any kind of problem till after dinner. Uh, if you use it in an intensive way. Uh, you can arrive till, uh, let's say, 6 p.m. Um, so comparable and a good level of battery. Uh, talking about the price, we've got uh, 360 for the, actually online for the um, S S5 Neo and 370 for the S5. So the price is very similar and it's not going to be a factor uh, in your choice. Um, so what can we say? We can conclude, uh, of course, summing up uh, all our uh, stuff. Uh, those two phones are very, very similar. In, in our opinion, uh, this is this was a, a very a, a smart um, version of the S5 because th they are different and you can decide which part are more interesting for you. And the choice is going to... Um, to come up with this with these thoughts. So the S5 is actually better in performance. If you're more interested in uh, the pure power, the pure performance, then the S5 is the good choice for you. And also the S5 is better because uh, like we said before, it has the sensor, the infrared sensor and the fingerprint sensor. So um, if you're interested in the gaming part, who play a lot of uh, testing games, real racing free, stuff like that. And uh, you're interested that the phone is fluid, so the pure power of your phone. If you like to unlock the screen with the fingerprint sensor, um, if you like to change channel with the infrared, so you're interested in the sensor, then the S5 still remains um, the, the, the best phone for you between these two. But if you're more interested in the design part, so um, you like this cutting effect uh, with the, on the edge, um, the, the back texture is better as you've seen. Uh, there is like Lavenza mentioned, there is not this uh, slot anymore and the phone still remains fully water resistant. So if you like, uh, the design is better in the S5 Neo for all this stuff. So if you are inter more interested in the design part and in the front camera, because maybe you take a lot of selfies, uh, so you can appreciate that the S5 Neo has five megapixel in the front camera against the two megapixel of the S5. So you, if you consider a lot instead the design part and the front camera part, then of course the S5 Neo becomes the good choice for you between these two phones. So. Everything depends on what you consider the most. Uh, performance, gaming part and sensor for the S5, design and front camera for the S5 Neo. So guys, that was all for today. This was our comparison between the S5 and the S5 Neo. Hope you like um, what we do. So if so, please put a like on the video and share the video in order to help the, the channel. 
And don't forget to subscribe because um, a lot of other new videos are coming out, especially another comparison between the S5, the brand new S5 Neo and the S6. So <laughs> maybe the best phone of the year uh, made by Samsung. So a lot of other new videos are coming out. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And that was all for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And bye-bye by Lorenzo and Alberto of Mobile Experience.